Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how to make regular spray paint stick to polyethylene foil. Okay, so to make the paint stick well enough to the polyethylene, uh, I need to have some sort of primer. But unfortunately there's no primer available that does the job well enough, so I need to come up with something myself. Now I knew from experience that hot glue sticks, like this, dissolve very well in thinner. And I know that because I sometimes remove a glue residue with it. And I also knew that hot glue sticks very well to polyethylene and paint sticks very well to hot glue. So I thought if I dissolve the hot glue in thinner and then apply it in a thin layer to the polyethylene, I could then apply paint to the, to the primer layer that I added and therefore make the paint stick better. So I tested it and it worked very well. So I'll now show you how to make it. Okay, so this is the English World War II style barrage balloon I made uh, about a year ago. And I didn't use the primer back then, because I was just still experimenting on how well the paint would stick. And you can see that if it folds the foil, the paint cracks, and then it will completely let loose of the polyethylene. So you get all these, just a big mess. You can see with a Stick on a piece of tape, you will just tear it right off. So it wasn't any good, it was good for one day actually, because after I uh, folded it up to store it, just all the paint fell off. So I hope this one that I make now will last a little longer. So we just have to wait and see. It's very important that you use the right kind of hot glue, because you need to use this one, which which is a little bit transparent. This one is much harder and more white. It dissolves very badly in thinner, so you can't use this one. So then I chopped up, this is about, I think, five of these. I chopped them up and put them in this jar. So then you add an amount of thinner. So we'll be wearing this active carbon filter safety mask, so I won't inhale all the thinner fumes, because they're very bad for me health. So they will be completely submerged in thinner. And what you can do is you can wait about a day and then a lot of the glue will dissolve. But the problem then is that you will always keep little lumps in it. So then I thought, it's hot glue, so maybe if I heat it up, it will dissolve completely. So that's what I did. So to speed things up, put the thinner and the hot glue in this bowl and put it on my electric stove to heat it up. Of course I use an electric stove because a gas powered stove would be way too dangerous with the thinner fumes. It's actually a very weird kind of cooking. Let's add a little more thinner for the glue to dissolve into. So it's now completely dissolved. So let's put it back in the jar. So now we have a jar full of primer. Let it cool down, it will get solid like this. It's more like a some sort of a gelatin, so it's very weird, but if you just heat it up a little bit in hot water, it will liquefy again and you can apply it easily. And of course you can always make it thinner by adding more uh, thinner. So, let's apply it. I am your father. So now I have to wait a couple days for the hot glue to completely solidify and then I can apply the finish. So the primer is now completely cured, it's about 4 days later, 
feels kind of rubbery or like it's covered in hot glue. You wouldn't expect that. So the balloon is ready. Let's give it a nice coat of paint. So I hope this will give it a nice ye olde look. Okay, so it's now a week later and you can see the paint is completely dry. And if I fold the foil like this, you can see there is no tears or whatsoever in it. And if I apply a piece of tape on it and rip it off, you can see nothing on the tape and everything stays on the foil. This side I didn't primer at all. If I, and you can see that I already ripped some up. It comes off very easy. So the primer really works. But of course I need to see how well it does over a longer period of time. But so far it looks good. It's the second time I inflated it now and uh, with the previous version the paint was already falling off. So thus far it works. Okay, that's it everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and see you next time.